glitching. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what the it is, man. Oh my god. All right, look, 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 y'all thought I was playing. I know y'all see those lights. Look at them. I don't remember a creepy bridge. ¿Lo viste? De los regresos a los normales, ojos de reptil. What is that? Hi. I'm James Lafleur, and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the most mysterious, unexplained and creepy videos caught on camera. From a very strange and unexplained transformation caught on a live concert, to bizarre sightings of Bigfoot and strange objects in the sky, and creepy paranormal experiences, you're definitely in for a treat. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was younger, I used to watch sci-fi movies or X-Files, and I was absolutely baffled by the things that I would see on television. And even though I knew that those things weren't real, I always kept my mind open to the strange and mysterious things that could be hiding somewhere out there. Little by little, I started observing the sky in search for these mysterious phenomenon, UFOs and strange things up in the sky. But it was a really rare thing back in the 1990s or the 2000s to actually capture something mysterious like a strange phenomenon, a strange light in the sky and things of such. Holy Dalton, are you seeing that? Dalton. Alright, look, 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 y'all thought I was playing. I know y'all see those lights. Look at them. Not the little ones because my, my little mirror thing scratched up. I know you see those right there, floating. Oh my. However, in the past couple of years, things started to amp up really fast, and it's as if every week that passes, more and more unexplained videos of mysterious lights in the sky keep popping up absolutely everywhere. And this is sort of what started to happen a couple of months ago all over the world. And it started, I understand, in downtown London on July 2023 when a couple of friends were driving a car on a rainy day. When all of a sudden this is what they captured on camera. Check this out. What the hell? What is that? So what well, looks like several different orbs can be seen hovering just above downtown London on July 2023. And as the people inside the car continue to record, you can notice that some of the orbs seem to disappear while others reappear. <laughs> Oh, 
after the video was posted to Reddit, many people started to speculate that this was possibly flares or something like that. And I have to agree, it kind of does look like it. But at the same time, a lot of people were also debating on why would flares, dozens of them, show up on downtown London like this on a rainy day. Not only that, many people who actually live in London debated that this is possibly something else other than flares. One internet user states that it's possibly not flares from a football match because this is not a thing that they do in the UK. It could be Chinese lanterns, but there were no Chinese celebration on that specific date. And also, military flares could be a possibility, but over the capital, what would be the reason? Another internet user states that dropping 15 plus flares over a densely populated city isn't exactly a standard operation procedure outside of some very rare and unlikely occasions. This same internet user adds that they appear to be moving quickly in the same direction which flares don't do. They'd only move like that in very high wind and high winds would be another reason not to drop dozens of flares over a dense city. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when a couple of weeks after, a similar sighting happened near Cuba. And this is what was caught on camera. Check this out. Unfortunately, there's not much information about this video, but what looks like the same thing can be seen in the sky. And even though there's a lot of people saying that this could also be flares or balloons, it could be something else entirely. And to make things even stranger, on August 19th, Stephanie Lynn was driving home. It was about 9 o'clock in the evening when she noticed something odd. What looked like some sort of unexplained and mysterious phenomenon happening just above the clouds. She parked her car and started to record it. And this is what she saw. After being posted, the video amassed thousands of views and hundreds of comments, and internet users were sort of divided. Some believe that this is maybe the sun setting or maybe the moon setting, and it would make sense if it weren't for the fact that Stephanie was facing east, and according to her, she was very close to her home and she was facing east looking at Denver City from afar. And you can actually see that in the video, so that's basically Denver City. In other words, Stephanie was facing east and what we're looking at here in the horizon aren't mountains. These are clouds, stormy clouds, and there's something very odd happening in the middle of them. Other internet users suggested that maybe this could be the moon set. But I did check the moon calendar and apparently the moon had set due west at 9.30 p.m. that day. And other internet users seem to agree that they saw the moon due west at 4 p.m. that same day. So whatever is going on here, if this is not the sun setting, the moon setting or anything like that, this is something else entirely. Some internet users are saying that maybe this is a portal or maybe Project Bluebeam. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? And did Stephanie actually capture something otherworldly that day? When I was much younger, I remember very vividly in one of my birthdays, I got this headphone as a gift. And it was something that changed my life forever. From that day on, I found myself using that headphone all the time listening to all types of music. And I guess that this is something that happens to most people when they first get their hands on a headphone. There's nothing like coming back from school or from work and just putting on your headphones and relaxing for a few minutes. 
And even though I would like to think that there's nothing mysterious or strange about the music world, it's quite the opposite when it comes to rock and roll. For instance, you're probably already aware that many rock and roll bands used to hide secret messages within their songs using reverse speech. Bands like The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Queen, Pink Floyd, The Rolling Stones, and the list goes on. In one specific song from the band The Beatles, you can actually hear sinister phrases being said in reverse speech. Check this out. No one knows to this day if there was something sinister about this hidden message or if it was just coincidence. In one of Nirvana's song, Smells Like Teen Spirit, if you actually play it in reverse, you'll hear several types of hidden messages. No one knows if these are indeed sinister hidden messages or just a coincidence. But the thing is, if you start looking around, things will get stranger and stranger. And it's sort of what happened recently with a specific video from the band Rammstein. Now, the band Rammstein was first founded in Berlin in 1994 by Richard Crusp on lead guitar and Christoph Schneider on drums. Other members joined the band later, and their first album to hit the top 10 and achieve significant success was their second album, titled Zinzucht, released in 1997. Now, the reason I'm talking about Rammstein is mostly because there was a specific video that started going viral on social media and many people were talking about it and how strange it was. It was first uploaded by Contacto Avni one on Instagram and this is the video that I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you see that? Till Lindman, the band's lead singer, seems to shapeshift his eyes somehow instantly into a reptilian form. When I first saw this video, I thought it could be fake, meaning that Contacto Avni on Instagram maybe edited the video through CGI or video effects. And this is when I went over to YouTube and found the original live concert that happened in Paris in 2012. And when I watched the original video, then things took a very strange turn. Take a look yourself. Gefährlich ist, wer Schmerzen kennt. Vom Feuer, das den Geist verbrennt. Bang, bang! Gefährlich, das gebrannte Kind. At 30 minutes and 22 seconds in the original live concert, Till Lindman's eyes shapeshift into something else entirely. And if we replay and slow mo the video and watch closely, you can actually see the details of what looks like a reptile type of eye. What the heck is going on here? And what's even creepier is that just moments before and after, his eyes look completely normal. It's as if whatever happened, happened in seconds, and most people did not realize this. After the video was published on Instagram, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were sort of divided. 
Some internet users stated that this is possibly a special type of contact lens, or maybe even a collage of different shows, or even maybe a post edit. But it seems that most internet users were not convinced about it. Some debate that there are no special contact lenses that are capable of changing that fast. Others even debated that if this is indeed special effects or contact lenses, then why only happen during two seconds in the entire live concert? Now, even though Ramstein is known for its very good live performances and special effects, most internet users do have a valid point. Why happen that fast during the entire live concert so that most people wouldn't even notice it at all? So I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Is this possibly a collage, special effects, contact lenses, or is there something far more sinister going on here? In the silent corners of our world, where tales and myths of strange creatures are a common thing, whispers of their existence echo through the forests. From the elusive footprints of Bigfoot to the fleeing shadows of unknown entities, our Earth holds many secrets yet to be unveiled. <laughs> and although there isn't exactly much physical evidence of the existence of such creatures, there are so many stories and strange tales of encounters that people had in the middle of the woods. Tales that people can't exactly explain. Just so you have an idea, according to the Joshua Stevens website, from 1921 to 2013, there were supposedly around 3,300 Sasquatch sightings in the US and Canada alone. That's a lot of sightings. And if at least 10% of these sightings are real or possibly real, then there's definitely something out there, something that doesn't want to be found. And it's normally when you're strolling through the woods, free from the weight of daily problems, that most of these sightings occur. And this is sort of what happened with the video that was sent in to the Paranormal Review YouTube channel, a channel that's focused on reviewing strange and mysterious things that happen all over the world. And in one specific video that was recorded in the spring of 2015, a person was enjoying their time in Payson Canyon in Utah, when all of a sudden, this happened. Quietly enjoying a good time by the river, the person notices some sort of movement and noises in the tree line just above. This is when the person aims the camera and surprisingly captures the presence of some sort of animal. And this is when he realizes that he's not all alone and whatever this thing is, it's big and it's watching him. And this is what happens next. Whatever this thing was, it was very big, and as soon as it noticed that it had drawn a lot of attention, it paced away quickly. If we slow-mo the video and zoom in on the creature, we can see it a little bit better, but unfortunately the person wasn't able to capture it fully. It was as if the creature was making sure that it was never seen, which is something quite common in Bigfoot and Sasquatch sightings. They hide very well and make sure that no one knows that they're around. But here's the thing, there's quite a few videos out there of people who actually captured Bigfoot on camera from afar, and in this case most of the times they don't know that they're being watched. Oh, come on, come on inside! Carly! 
And this is apparently what happened recently with a person who was on top of a hill in Yellowstone National Park, when he saw from afar what at first looked like two bears. He caught his camera and started to record it, and little by little, he realized that what he was looking at weren't two bears at all. And this is what he captured on camera. Bear. Whatever these creatures are, they're definitely pacing too quick to be a regular human being, and they clearly seem to be walking on their two feet. In other words, these are not bears. And it seems that most internet users agree. After the video was posted by the movie guy 11 on his account, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and people were completely baffled by it. Some internet users stated that it's a well-known fact that Bigfoot sightings happen a lot in Yellowstone. Other internet users seem to agree that at the distance that this person is from the creatures, their size is huge compared to a person, and most stated that they're covering a lot of ground in very short time, meaning that this is possibly a legit Bigfoot sighting. Now I did talk to the movie guy 11 on TikTok, which was the original poster of the video and he says that it was his friend who actually captured this on camera. And at the time, apparently, there were a couple of people very close by with binoculars who did not see the two creatures pacing quickly. However, they did see a couple of bears with their cubs on the opposite direction. And they told him that after watching his video, they were pretty sure that these were not bears, nor people. This was something else. Now, when it comes to creepy Bigfoot sightings, if we take a look at the Joshua Stevens map, there are loads of them, maybe even too many of them in Western United States and Canada. And while looking for sightings in this region, I recently came across a very interesting video posted by Worm Watson. Now, Worm Watson has been motorbiking for more than 10 years, so he's got loads of experience. And in most of his videos, he's usually exploring different parts of Vancouver Island and he focuses his videos on motorbiking and that's about it. However, in a couple of videos that he posted, strange things happened to him in the woods and he was able to capture some of it on camera. In one of his videos, he's out in the woods and this is what happens. This way. I think. I don't remember. I think this is the right freaking way. Oh man, I don't remember any of this. I don't remember a creepy bridge. Okay, where's my phone? When motorbiking in the middle of the woods around 8.30 p.m., he notices that he's lost. He can't seem to find his way back. So he gets his phone and tries to look at the map to see if he can find a way but it seems that he can't get a good signal and can't seem to quite understand which way to go. As time goes by, he becomes more anxious, more lost, and things become creepier. And this is what happens next. I think I'm actually lost. Oh, this is frustrating. I'm getting nervous now too. 3% on my phone. Okay, it's been like a hour. I'm lost. I'm officially lost. And it's dark. Just perfect. Hey, I'm lost in the woods. 2% on my phone and it's dark now. I got that going for me, which is great. Well, this is so stupid. No service, of course. Of course there's animals. Get! Get! 
out of here. I swear to God. Well, I'm not gonna deal with animals. As he tries calling his friend without much success, Worm Watson notices the presence of some sort of creature nearby. He hears steps, and apparently whatever this thing is, it's big. Well. Now scared, he starts screaming at whatever this thing is, and I guess that was a very smart move. Some internet users stated that there's a moment there in the video that they can actually see something, although I can't. There was something there with him, something big. And if it weren't for him being brave and getting the heck out of there as fast as possible, no one knows what would have happened. Now being that there are so many supposed Bigfoot sightings in Western Canada, Go get the pistol. Go look under the seat and get the Look up under my seat. Look up under the pickup seat. Get the pistol. Yeah. I don't know what the f he is, man. Oh my god. This is real, man. It could be the case that maybe Worm Watson actually crossed path with one. But I want to know your thoughts. Was it maybe a person? Was it Bigfoot? Or something else? And in your opinion, was it a smart move trying to defend himself by screaming at it? What's your take? In the late 18th century, the United States was in the throes of defining its identity, striving to create a unique vision for the future. It was during this pivotal time in the 1700s that the foundation of the dollar bill was laid. Complete with its intriguing array of symbols including the enigmatic pyramid and the watchful all-seeing eye. Fast forward to today and those very symbols have become the epicenter of discussions, debates and controversies that span far and wide. At their core, these symbols were meant to embody values of guidance, strength and unity, concepts that resonate with any nation on the rise. However, with time, these symbols have stirred debates, raising questions about hidden meanings and secret organizations. The idea that there might be something hidden has covered the symbols that were supposed to show openness and growth with a sense of secrecy. But there's more. The dollar bill boasts 13 stars, 13 stripes and 13 arrows and then there's the intriguing inclusion of the owl and other concealed elements within the bill's artwork, sparking dialogues that stretch far beyond its monetary value. And just recently, an internet account who's been playing around with a very good microscope found something chilling on the dollar bill and the 100 euro bill. Something that's been creeping the entire internet out. This is what they saw. Check this out. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when he later uploaded a video showing the dollar bill, something that his subscribers kept asking him to zoom in on. And this is what he caught on camera, check this out. After these videos were posted online, they amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and internet users were confused. Some believe that this is fake or edited and it could actually be, while some state 
that they've checked this out themselves and proved it to be real. But I don't have a microscope here with myself to check it out, so I'm not sure. If you do, leave a comment. Have you seen something similar in the dollar or euro bill? Not only that, I went over to their YouTube channel and TikTok account and this is not the regular type of video that you'll find in their account. They usually upload daily things such as what happens to your towel after you take a shower or for example how does bioluminescence in the water look like if you zoom in enough. Most videos are focused on very interesting and daily things that we humans can't exactly see with the naked eye. So I found it a bit strange that these are the only two videos focused on aliens or UFOs. Meaning that this could actually be the real deal. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is just CGI, in other words it's fake? Or do you think that there could be actually hidden messages and secret images hidden deep within these bills? And if so, why would this happen? In a world where the line between the paranormal and science is quite blurry, most videos out there that you'll see stories and tales are usually debunked. And while many claim to capture ghosts and paranormal events on camera, most are exposed as illusion or maybe just misinterpretation. I'm going for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbors. But the story and video that I'm about to show you guys today or tonight is one of those very few that still remain completely unexplained to this day. The video that we're talking about is of a woman who arrives home after a night out and notices that some of the lights in her home are on when she had actually turned them off before leaving. Not only that, her door is unlocked, something that it wasn't supposed to be. Legit scared, she starts recording fearing that maybe whatever is inside is possibly a human being, a burglar or something like that. However, what happens next is quite chilling. And this is what she captured on camera. Something creepy happened when I got home. I was driving down the street and my daughter's bedroom light is on. So I'm like, that's weird because she's at her dad's house for a couple of nights. She's not home. So I parked my car right over here. And when I park my car, I see her bedroom curtains are also opened a bit. So now I'm freaked out, right? And my doors were locked. But my house was built in like 1910. So I was like, I hope it's a ghost and someone didn't, you know, break in or something. So I have to actually go in my house right now and I'm recording it because I'm scared. In a very brave move, she goes inside and checks the home by herself without calling anyone first. And this is what happens. All right, so here we go. I'm like shaking right now. Like my hormones are like my adrenaline is going again. Like I have to go up my creepy dark stairs. None of the lights are on upstairs. This is not fun. And you know I've been hearing weird in the attic, bro. Oh, spooky. That's her room. Just turn the light on. I don't know which way I should point the camera. Bro, I'm freaked out. I'm gonna go in my bedroom first. I'm turning the light on in here. Ah! Why isn't it turning on? Okay. Scary. Dude, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> she goes about checking the rooms inside her home. She notices a few things that seem to be off. But then she continues on checking her home to make sure that there's nothing there. Until she captures something chilling on camera without noticing. Everything is like normal in here. But her painting fell. This painting she made was hanging on the wall and that fell. Her chair that belongs to her desk 
is here, but that just might be normal. Like, maybe she was playing with it. I'm gonna look in her closet. Dude. Everything's normal. I'm gonna shut her light off. Like, the LED lights are on in my other daughter's room, and those always go on. Dude, it was f creepy. I'm looking behind the shower. Ha! Nothing there. Weird. Like, that light was off last night. I was here in my house sleeping. I hate when that light is on because if I close my door and the light is on, it shines through this crack. It's gotta be a ghost. Like, my house was built in, like, 1906, not 1910, 1906. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, apparently she didn't. When she's just about to get out of her daughter's room, saying that everything looks normal, someone or something appears to be creeping just behind her. And if we slow-mo the video, you can actually see it very clearly, and so did many internet users who actually pointed it out. After watching this video over and over, I can say that there's possibly more than just one figure creeping behind her, but I'm not too sure. What I do know is that being that her home was built in 1906 and that she's legit feeling scared and creeped out, I'm pretty sure that there's possibly some sort of ghost or paranormal activity going on there. But I want to know your take. What do you really think is going on here? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Also, if you have strange or scary and mysterious videos that you want to send, that impossible channel at gmail.com. I'll be waiting for you guys, and I'll see you again very soon.